Right. Oh. <clears throat> Morning, everyone. Just loading up the laptop to find my live video so that I can see all your comments. Hi! Dun, 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 dun. Right. Hi Rachel honey, how are you? Hi Lisa, hi Heather. How are you? Just trying to locate my live video on my um, event page. Da, 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 da. I think I found it, I think I found it. Hi Karen, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I've been up since quarter to um, six this morning. Well, about five really, because I, I woke up in my... Um, every part of my mouth and throat was like sandpaper because my um, um, CPAP therapy mask strap had come off. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Hi, hi. Now, I'm just going to... Um, Invite my craft class ladies direct. Um, just give me a wee second. Till I find them all. Quite a few of us online now, you see. Right, who else have we got? How are you? Do you like the little card we're going to make today? Now, I think this is called... Well, it's a Z-fold card. Okay, but it has a little picture. So, I've named it Z-fold easel card. I'm not sure if that's the right um, description for it. Maybe you guys could fill me in. Alright. So, I am just searching... My lovely ladies. Um, hi, Jane. Hi, Kirsten. You woke up at six with a cat taking tissues out the box. <laughs> Little mites. <laughs> How is everybody? Such a beautiful day outside. I'm definitely going to, um, after class, go into the... Um, the garden. I managed to power, power wash some of the decking yesterday. Um, I was already feeling rubbish and I thought, you know what, I'm going to feel just a little bit more rubbish. Um, but yeah, I woke up fine today, albeit at five o'clock. Right, so I'm just searching for my other craft class friends. Hi Cheryl! My newest team lady, how are you, honey? Right. Let's see, I'm going to share it. Um, just bear with me, folks. Who else is here? Good morning, good morning. Right, I'm just going to pop a little message in the, our um, craft class group to see that it's started. Right, okay. Message sent. Hi Vicky, how are you? Oh, we have eight people, that's great. Uh, Elizabeth took an accidental trip in my bedroom. Oh no. Oh no, you went face first. Oh my goodness. Hope you're not sporting too much of a bruise. Oh, that's good. You're okay, Cheryl. Perfect. Hi, Heather. Happy Saturday, everyone. You're trying to find a centimetre to inches chart. Oh, do you work in centimetres, Vicky? I can um, shout out centimetre um, measurements if you want, honey. Mm. 
we have a trusted ruler here. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> so thank you to my craft class ladies who um, rallied together to help me get the last of the seals required for my Silver Elite promotion. Yes, I know, Heather. I'm so excited. It's awesome. It's awesome. Shows that work hard, um, working hard does pay off. Um, so all of those um, social media campaigns I was trying to run and whatnot worked out quite good. So who else do we have on here? We have Lisa Vicky, Cheryl, Rachel. Um, let me see. I'm just going to have to reshare into my private message with the craft class ladies. Do bear with me. Right, I need to copy the link. Yep, that's not working. Right. I'm just going to tell them. Sending an invite to you. Isn't this great talking on here? Hi, Natalie. How are you? Hi, Timmy. Right, invite. We've got... So I need to invite Anne. Brilliant. And I've invited our Dorothy and whatnot. So, um, whoever's not managed to jump on can... Um, um, always watch them catch up. And if you want a kit at £5, including postage um, sent out to you to recreate the card, um, let me know. Right, so... Let's see. Jean, um, they're struggling to see the link in our chat. Um, I don't know what's happening. Ah, oh, that's good, Natalie, because you're not a big, big fan of social media, are you? So, well done. Well done. Right, I'm just um, trying to find this link. We've got that much carry-on chat in our little um, group. Right. Yeah, I've sent a link. Right, no problem. That's all I can do just now. So, hopefully they'll find us. Right, so we've got 11 here. We might as well get going. So, if you're crafting along, um, we need a piece of A4 card, right? So we're going to cut it down. We're not using mosaic mood. I am using... Um, white and black cardstock. Jane, you'll be happy to, to know that... Um, I'm layering this up with um, some black and whatnot. Um, this DSP we're using is the Flowering Foil Speciality. I just hear that's um, my little one getting up. He's just giving me a thumbs up. Hi, Steph. So we're using this um, Flowering Foils. So the kit that I'll send you if you wish to purchase it is going to be this DSP to layer it up. So I only have enough for... Seven or eight kits, okay. Right, so let's start. Um, I will send you a PDF as well, but the measurements for this are being provided free. You don't need to buy. It's just really to bring people together. And if folk want to buy a little kit, that's a Brucey bonus for me. Right, so hi Margaret. <laughs> hi everybody. Right, so. A4 cardstock, we're going to cut this down to four and one eighth of an inch. Pop your extras to the side. Okay, and we need to shorten the length down to nine and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. So, in centimetres. Has everybody seen my ruler? There it is. In centimetres, this is going to be... Hi, Jill. 
from Kelso. Um, this is going to be 10.5 centimetres by 25. Okay. So, with the long side at the top, what you want to do is we want to score it at 5 and 7 eighths, which is 15 centimetres. And we also want to score it at 5, 6, 7 and 7 eighths, which is 20 centimetres. And that is our card base. Just popping this to the side. So you can see how it's a kind of a Z. Hi Valerie! Hi Tammy! How are you all? Oh, Anne's got my link. That's great. I hope you're watching Anne. So this is our Z fold. Okay, so we need to burnish it well. Now it doesn't stand by itself, that's why we're going to attach, we'll do that last, a little um, easel section. Is it an easel card, you would call this? I'm not sure of the proper name for it, but I'm calling it an easel fold um, Z card. A Z, Z fold easel card even. <laughs> Hi Susan. Oh, we've got lots of people on today, that's awesome. Right, so this is the front of the card, so we're going to need one big matte layer, two smaller matte layers, and I'm doing mine in Wisp of White. So what we need is we need to cut a strip of A4 down to 4 inches width, and we're going to cut our three pieces. So the first piece is an eighth of an inch smaller than the actual card base so we've got that one so that is um, four by five and three quarters and then we need two that are one and seven eighths by four now we've already cut it down to four so that's fine that's everybody um just getting out their bed uh, my husband and the two boys <laughs> They're so lucky. Right, so in centimetres, this is going to be um, 10.1 roughly by 14.5, 14.5. And these are 10.1 by, let's see now, 10.1 by 4.6 centimetres roughly. I'm not um, used to working in centimetres, but I will shout it out for those of you that are that prefer um, centimetres to inches. So you can see that's going to be our three layers there. Now the next layer, which is the top layer, is going to be our um, lovely DSP. Okay, so we need to cut three pieces again. All right, now these need to be... I'm going to cut the biggest bit first. Three and seven eighths of an inch by five and five eighths. It is lovely paper. Nobody's comments are showing. There might be a little delay, Jane. Um, there might be a little delay, hun. Um, when I um, when I'm watching lives, I have to go into four G on my phone. Hi, Ian. Um, so there might just be a little little um delay there pal right so this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths okay and i'll just give you the centimeters in a second so this is going to layer up on the white like so can you see that let's just make it pop a little bit more morning ian you're the only one out of bed in your house getting peace. Oh, that's great, Margaret. Hope you're well. Okay, now let's cut uh, the little top layers for the two smaller sections. So these need to measure one and a half by three and seven eighths. One and three quarters, sorry. So these are going to be, is it one and three quarters? 
Yeah, one and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And I think I may have given my craft cast ladies the wrong measurement for that, or I've written it down wrong. Let's just check as we go. Some people prefer to um, just eyeball it. Don't baffle you with 4G. <laughs> well, you're funny, Jane. So they're going to lay it up there. So these are measuring in centimetres. It is 4.4. By 9.9 .9 centimetres. Fabulous. Right, so let's pop that together just now. Let me put this away. I'll do the easel section last. Okay, so it's a, quite a simple card, but it's just really to bring you together and let people um, try a little fancy fold. Right, so I'm just going to add glue. I prefer to use wet glue because then I could shimmy it about a bit. Oh, it looks pretty perfect. So I'm just adding the matte layers onto the front of the card. We're also going to need a piece of Whisper White or white that you have in stock uh, in your stash. Foreign measurements, I know. <laughs> Uh, you're also going to need a white piece for it on the back, so um, I'll cut that just now as well. And then that's it out the way. So there is the matte layer. Ta-da! Right, let's flip it over and get our piece for the back, which needs to measure four by five and three quarters inches. It's the same size as the first main matte layer we put on the card there on the front. So this is 10.1 roughly by 14 and a half ish. This is just for the back so that you can write a sentiment on it. I will um I will put up the proper measurements after class um in both Imperial and metric. Ta da! There we go. Now we can add our lovely DSP to the front. Now I am keeping this plain. You can actually blend ink onto the, the kit I'll send you out if you're buying it. You can blend some inks, and that's the kind of effect that you'll get. I used um, two of our grey colours on this one. Um, is it raining? Oh yeah, it started raining up at my house up the road as well, Jane. Boo. Um, so this gives you a lovely metallic effect. Um, if you were using brighter colours, you maybe want to change the card base, but I will be sending them out um, in these exact colours, okay? You could also use stamping blends or colouring blends just to colour partial pieces. Um, you should also be able to add water colouring onto this. It's a beautiful paper. Right, so let's get you stuck down. And these are single-sided. These are the first um, papers I've seen that are single-sided, but I've only been with stamping up a year and a half. Oh, have you stolen all the sunshine, Ian? Ian stole it. Ian's got all the sunshine down south. Hopefully it's just a little shower, because I was really wanting to do some um, tidying of the garden. My husband actually cleaned out um, my little summer house, because it got a little bit um, mouldy um, through the winter there. He did add vents into the side, but we're going to have to make the vents a bit bigger. And he had to hoover out any spiders or any hints of spiders. Right, so, what's everybody saying? Is everybody following along the, um... If you're crafting along with me, 
I was hoping to, sorry, I keep wobbling this um, camera. I was hoping to do a craft along um, on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, but things have just been hectic with working at home. Um, and can't get on. Don't know if someone can message her. Right, hang on a second. I'm just going to message Anne. And go to my Facebook business. What's away? Right, just give me a little second. I'll just um, quickly send a message to my other craft class lady friend. Um, if you are catching up, spiders are not not nice. <laughs> yeah, um, you do have this, Jane. And of course, I didn't have it, so I had to, I had to um, pick that for a freebie for myself. Right, my internet is going a little bit slow. Um, so I'm going to have to... Um, I'm just going to have to leave Anne, I'm afraid. Anne will be able to watch on catch up, hopefully. Um, things are just... My, my laptop's freezing a little bit. I think because the boys... Oh, you're crafting with me, that's great. Um, the boys are on their Xboxes. Um, and it takes up a lot of the... Um, it takes up a lot of the Wi-Fi signal. Um, oh, that's awesome, Ian. That's awesome. I just watched your um, video... Um, this morning from last night, I remembered about your live um, premiere at about seven, and then I forgot. And I do actually have a an alarm on my my phone, especially for your premieres, and I keep forgetting. Oh dear! Right, um, let's do the little easel card prop up bit for the back. Now I am going to use black cardstock because my uh, Whisper White is not the thick stuff. So let's do that for now. And all I done was cut a piece that measures two inches by three inches. So there's the two inch width by three. I know Ian, I just get so annoyed at myself because my, my uh, memory is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right, this little bit down the longest side, you want to score it at half an inch. Oh, my husband's got toast on, I can smell it. You just want to burnish that. And what you want to do is cut from the score line down to the little bit here. Oh, brilliant, Natalie. Brilliant. I did um, give a wrong measurement, possibly for um, the DSP layer, which is... Um, these wee ones. It's one and three quarters of an inch um, in width and by five and a half. So I do apologise for that. I was trying to do it in a rush this morning. Right, so I'm just going to line this up in my trimmer, but if you're happy to do it with big scissors, please do. So we're just doing that. Fabulous. Oh, I hear next door neighbours' kids through the wall. They're having a the right giggle about something. So I love a mini album last night by Lyric Lover. Oh, I've not watched her in ages. I haven't watched that in ages. I've always wanted to do an, a, a mini album. Right, so we've burnished this, okay? And you'll see there should be a little scrap piece of the DSP from the supplies I send you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach that and I'm going to cut it down. And it just gives it a little bit more um, decorative kind of look to it. I'm not worrying about having a border or anything because it is the back of the card. So you see. When I first started crafting, I um, did try to do some mini albums, you know, like with um, 12 by 12 paper, fold it in half, score it at three inches, and then it, it would open up. Um, but I stopped doing them because they didn't sell at craft fairs. Um, I used to fill them up with tea bags and little 
motivational sentiments. Oh, yeah, you, I bet you do have a ton of DSP. <laughs> right, we're going to stick this down on the back. Which is fine because it will fold flat for posting, so it's going to fold flat for us to work on the front of the card. So I'm just going to hold that in place there. That's quite centred. So you will see when it stands up. Let me flatten it. I need to burnish this well. Just bear in mind if you're using thick cardstock, you do need to burnish it well. So it sits like that. You see it's got its little... This reminds me of the cheap frames that you used to get your school photographs in. <laughs> but it does the job. It does the job. Right. Is everybody hearing me okay? Because um, my computer's going slightly slow in terms of comments and stuff. So all you do... Fold it flat and there we're back to our card base. So what I've done is we are going to stamp a sentiment on Wisp of White for here. Okay, and I've fussy cut one of the um, floral um, elements from the floral design paper. I'll just show you that. And I will fussy cut this out for you. Oh, that's good. All fine, thanks. So uh, this is what it came from on this sheet. Now, you can get this full pack for free if you spend £45 online. Uh, you could pick that. We can't obviously do face-to-face um, -face orders just now. But that, it does stretch. What we're going to do, we're going to attach that on the front here, just so it's overlapping, and we're going to put a lovely little sentiment here. So you can see what I've done with this one. Can you see that? And I've layered this up, so we're going to do that with this. Yeah, I, I like to say cussy, cussy footing instead of fussy cutting. <laughs> but the whole point of um, doing this is to show you that you can actually... You can actually make the most of your DSP by using the images um, from around the side of the paper. And that way, you just it just seems to go for miles. Right, where's this sheet that I cut? Because I want to cut another flower off. There we go, there's the sheet that I've cut. I'm going to cut another flower. Because having looked at that, I don't think there's enough height on it. So I think I'll cut another one here and I'll layer it behind the, the label. Okay, so let's um let's pick another one that's half half on the it's half cut off rather. Um don't want to use that one, there's too many fussy bits for me. I think I'll cut this one out. So I'm just going to remove it from the sheet first and then I'll, I'll tidy it up. I'll cut it better in a wee second. And this is, I, I do find fussy cutting quite therapeutic. Yay! You're, oh, you're ahead! Hi, Anne! How are you? The DSP is lovely. It's lovely, lovely. And obviously you could use the filler images for focal points on your cards or projects. Um, I just like to try and utilise the half images first. I don't really want to cut through the big images. I'm a bit like, oh. Um, let's see. What's us see. I was trying to craft along, but Hubby's decided to fix a pog in the kitchen. Oh, how dare he? How dare he move about in his own house? <laughs> oh, you're funny. I'm the same. I've just had my, my, my husband day tiptoe past there, looking at me, wearily waiting for a dirty look or something, but 
they can't help it. I'm in a room where people need to walk through to get to the kitchen and the living room. So I try not to get crab it. Right. So I'm just um, fussy cutting that. You'll see I will pop that. I'm going to cut this leaf off. I'll pop that one there. Pop this one here. And then when it opens up, you're getting a lovely 3D effect. I don't think these need layered up on black. I think they're nice as they are. This one I had to do because the colour clashed too much with the background. But these have the copper foil um, element through them, not just the silver. So it's really pretty. Right, now, I'm going to pop that to the side and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Was Paul still in his bed? Good man. Is he getting a long lie, Jane? It's quite hard um, working from home. Perfect. If anybody is crafting all along, I'd love to see what you make. Please share it in this um, event threads. That would be brilliant. Oh, hi, Anne, you got on. No problem, Han. I've still got your order here and your kit and the uh, um, little kit from last week, Anne, hon. Um, but it's not going anywhere, so just we can sort that out between us. Um, yeah, I want my stamparatus. I'm only using this because I don't trust that my um, black ink is inky enough. Right, so use whatever a uh, stamping platform you have. Well, that's brilliant. Right, so hang on, that's upside down. <gasps> I can't be having that. So I've got a little bit of white here. So I'm just going to stick it on with my magnets. The sentiment that I want to use is um, slightly too big for my punch. Yeah, let's see if it fits in another one. Hang on a wee second. Should have maybe checked that. Oh, I think it's just going to fit in this one. Can't remember the name of this one. Ian, can you remember the name of this? Is this Pretty Label Punch? No, it's not Pretty Label Punch. Can't remember the name. I'll use this one anyway. If not, we can just go with um, stamping and fussy cutting a section myself. Uh, what's your most just now moving about? Oh, that's no worries, Elizabeth. No worries, hun. Now, I've left my deluxe foam mat in because uh, I'm using a photopolymer stamp. Story label. That sounds better. I don't use it a lot, to be honest. Right, I'm just inking up my word. Now, I should have said... I'm using two Abile Draws. This is one of my favourite sets. Some really nice sentiments in there. And I think I will stamp this in the back of the card as well. I've used this so much. And you could actually see I made a photo frame with a magnolia. Ian, you've caught this one on um, a YouTube. And there's one of the sentiments there. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Now that's stamped fine, but I am going to make it darker. Just because. Fab. Has anyone else got this um, two wild rose set? I've used mine that much that I really could be doing with buying a new one. Or maybe I should just clean my stamps. That would probably work out cheaper. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to keep this stamp out though for us. Right. I'm just going to move that now and get the shine away out of the way. Did you know that these little magnets now, I'm not sure 
we done it at the celebration event, but some I thought I'd lost my magnets, but some did put them in their proper place, which is on the back there. So awesome. Right. So I've got someone wanting to join. Let me just um send her a uh, an invite. She can't find us. Right, two seconds, folks. Sent you an invite. I'm a touch typist, by the way. It's like... <laughs> right, so let me gauge whether or not this is going to cut too much off. Or whether I have to make my own little label. Yeah, it's going to cut off a bit of the bee, so I'm not too happy about that. I'll just um, do it by... I. Right, so I'm just going to use my mini trimmer, which most of you know you can get if you join Stampin' Up as part of the joining offer. I'm just going to trim this down. I am just eyeballing this, so um, feel free to just um, add what, whatever label you wish. Right, let me close this message down I've got here and get back to the comments. As long as it's equal, equally cut on each edge, like so. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to use my little half an inch circle punch to make my own little label on the corners, like that. It's not going to be perfectly matching each side, but it's another option if your stamp's too big for your punches. That looks all right. That worked out not bad. That's going to go in there. Beautiful. If you want to add some shading around here. Hi, Christina, you found us, yay. Right, let me stamp on the back. Now, um, there is room to write and stuff, but I want to put sentiment on there anyway. Right, so, I'm just going to pop it in here. Thanks, Jane. Um... This one, the tutorial for this one premieres on um, Monday at 4 o'clock for Make It Monday. Now I'm just going to put magnets down on this. Um, so I'm choosing this sentiment. So if you want to see it, the project in a quicker... Let me move that down, actually. Um, if you want a quicker tutorial on this card, you can watch the one on Monday. Um, it's just with, with them, Facebook Lives, we tend to waffle on a bit. It's all good, it's all good. This is my favourite sentiment. Oh, did Facebook kick you off? Hi, Janet. There we go, I think that's fine. Ian Potter got breakfast, a Tesco strawberry diet shake. Oh, you know what? I'm actually thinking about um, what do you want to call it? Um, buying some uh, meal replacement shakes because um, with the ME, especially when I'm working, um, I don't tend to eat till I come home, like after two ish, and that's not good. That's not going to help anybody um, lose weight. The less you eat, the fatter you get. That's uh, true. <laughs> so I really need to try and get um, some sort of diet shake. Not as a meal replacement, but as a actual meal. Because I do skip breakfast and lunch most days. How did you find the Tesco one? Is it quite... Um, is it cheap enough, Ian? Let me see. We have 15 watching. That is so great. Thank you, everyone, for coming on. 
love it. Right, so anyway, that is the sentiment of, oh, only 200 calories. Calories? Sounded like I was from America there. <laughs> that is really good. Now, 200 calories equates to two digestive biscuits. So I'd f rather have a, a, a milkshake um, that's got all the um, nutrients and that in it. Oh, would you send me some recipe to make my own? Oh, how kind, Anne. Thank you. Janet's been cutting grass, relaxing, Kofi and Smith's Crafty Creations. Oh, bless. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate everyone that takes the time to come on. Right, let's just pop this together. So this is the main focus. So when you open the card up, this is um, overlapping. So I'm simply going to add that on. If you wanted to layer it up with black, um, you could do, but I'm not going to bother today. Let's see. Now make sure you just add ink where you need it. So I'm just going to pop it there. Uh, not ink, glue. So I'm just going to pop that on there, making sure that the little white border at the side there is still showing. And because this is a speciality paper, careful you don't um, move it, let it set because it does skate about. You don't do breakfast, haven't eaten breakfast in 23 years and they say it's the most important meal. That's what they say anyway but um, yeah I'm just trying to get my calories up because the more you eat properly the, the better chance of losing weight. And um, what's Ian saying? Four pound each. And often on special. Less sugar than slim fast. Ah. Well, you could pay three pound odds for a sandwich, so you know. Yeah, you could put sponge the engines. Most definitely. You certainly could. So I'm just gonna layer that up like that, you see. But certainly when, when it clashes with the back, like the silver, this is getting lost in the silver background, you could add some black. Um, let me see. Look what I got. I got some ink refills. Yay. Right, let me see if I've got my black ink sponge dauber finger holding sponge thing in here. Nope, it's not there. Do you know when you tidy things up and they just seem to disappear somewhere? Oh, it's £4 a box. I can't find my dauber. You could try that at home though, folks. £40 each, that's brilliant. I thought, oops, I thought you meant um, pear milkshake. Well, that's really good. Really good. Right, let's... Um, Let's pop that on. Now I don't have my sponge, but what I can do is I can add a little ink, just like this, I think. Yep, let's do that. Na -na -na. Just wobble the edges in. What do you mean in edge up this Ian rather than this bit? Sorry Hannah misinterpreted. Yeah, I think that looks good. And for the corners, I just usually do that. There's always a way to get into those nitty gritty bits. Now, do be careful that you don't get black all over your fingers and then smudge it on the front because that would be a nightmare. Um, let's see what Steph's saying. You were so ill in the last pregnancy. Try to get me breakfast. Oh wow, that's in that strange, eh? Our bodies are um, amazing, amazing things, but when things go wrong, it's like anything. Um, when it works, it's fine, and when it doesn't, it's not fine. Yeah, you could use your stamp and blend, Janet. You could. So that's definitely going to pop more, and I I think I'll use some um, 
basic rhinestone jewels on that. So let me just stick this one on and I'm just going to tuck it kind of under like so, making sure it's in all the matte layer borders. Oh yeah, Ian, listen, I'm, I'm terrible. Terrible at um, putting my fingers in ink or putting the card to the side and the ink's open. That's why I always try and close. I always try and close my inks as I go. Right, we're going to pop this one up. Okay, so let's get dimensions. How's everybody else getting on that's crafting along? I think I'll do that for the next one as well. I'll, um, it was actually Jane that suggested to me, are you... Um, I'm just going to push the centres down with these. Jean, my friend, who comes to my class, she said, um, are we going to craft along at the same time? And I said, no, no, you just, um, you can do it after. But you know what, it's a really good idea, so thanks for that, Jean. I just need to um, prepare better and not publish the um, the measurements on the morning of the event. <laughs> because then that's when mistakes happen. Oh, that's pretty. Is that straight? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me straighten that up. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see how that looks. Ta-da! Isn't that nice? Nice. Right, let's get some jewels. Um, the only thing is, if anyone's buying this £5 kit to recreate what we've made today, I cannot give you stamped images, I'm afraid. I can't give you that. I could give you the cut-out piece, um, but you would need to um, stamp your own sentiment on there. I'm sure, as crafters, you have a whole array of um, stamps in your stash. Right, yeah, so I'm going to add some of these sparkly things. I'm going to add some in the back as well. Let's do that because the back seems awful plain. And in terms of posting, it is going to go as a large letter because of the thickness. But if you add jewels, rhinestones on here, it's not going to make it even thicker, if you know what I mean. Right, I'll apologise now if some of these go flying. Um. So I think I'll use some of the big ones in the centre. Oh, that's slightly squint. Sorry, I get a bit OCD. Things have got to be okay. That's still squint in my eyes. There we go. So I'm just going to randomly pop some of these on the flowers. Never thought of doing that till now, so it's a good wee idea. I think I need one up here. I think I need to do most of them actually. So it's more pleasing on the eye. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Where will I put the other one? I'm just going to pop it here. So let me check that I do have enough rhinestone jewels. You know what I'll do? I'll maybe, what I'll do is I'll cut up, if you're buying the kit, I'll send you some of these silver. Um, I'll send you half a dozen of these silver uh, metallic pearls, which would look beautiful on that as well, okay? So I'll send you the metallic pearls. I'm going to leave them out so that I know that and I don't forget. Um, let's see. What are we seeing? Do, 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 do. Oh, thanks, Jean. Aim, um, Karen. Uh, what would make you think we as crafters would have a stash? Oh, Jean, I've seen your um, beautiful craft room, my lovely. I'm listening, doing housework. OCD's kicked in overdrive. Three litres of bleach a day. Carpet's been hoovered five times a day, but no one going in or out. Being thinks killed. I know, you just need to watch you don't overdo it, honey. Totally understand where you're coming from, though. Totally understand. I always have to do um, antibacterial, like wipe down all my bunkers, all my tables, my couches, um, anything that can collect dust, I wipe it down every day before I go to work. I'm just going to pop a few jewels on here. 
In fact, I'm just going to cluster three, three together, like so. I think that's pretty. I think it's pretty. Yeah, that's same. Um, I did see that on the news. People that are, um, that experience OCD, and um, this is going to be quite detrimental. Could be uh, detrimental to the, your your health and your mental health. So you do need. To, just keep an eye on things, hun. I know it's hard. It's a lot harder. It's easier said than done kind of thing, isn't it? Um, how's everybody getting on that's crafting along? I think that turned out quite pretty. Whoops. Do put your easel section up. Ta-da! So it will sit like that on your mantelpiece. Thanks, Janet. I hope you've been um, enjoying all your new purchases, Janet. Janet's one of my, my lovely um, Louise's team lady. That's brilliant. I love how Stampin' Up! just brings everybody together. Well, the whole, the whole crafting world, um, but especially Stampin' Up! made so many friends online, in person. Thanks, Jill. Does anyone have any questions about the cards or anything? I was going to do a traditional Z fold card, um, but I changed my mind last minute because I thought I'll do this, this one. Yeah, you're totally hooked. I know. Once you, it's like when you open a, a tub of Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. For sure, and you'll probably never go back to having a collection of this, that, and the next thing. You'll get the that you're stamping up stuff's your favourite. For sure. Right, I have this little um, leaf that I cut off earlier. I'm going to... I'm just going to stick it behind. Don't want to throw it away. I'm just going to stick it behind there, like so. So it's really good paper. Really good paper. I love, I love the paper that you can cut out the printed images like that. So lovely. Um, thanks for showing us how to put this together. Craft along next time. No problem, Christina. Sorry I had trouble trying to find my honey. Well, I think um, unless um, people are still crafting along, that I will end this class. If anyone doesn't already have a demonstrator, um... Everything used today is available via smithscraftcreations.stampingup.net. Quite off screen there. Um, let me move this over. So there's my shop address. If you spend £25 or more, you could use this hostess code to earn some free product from myself. Um, but the purpose of this video isn't to gain sales. It is just to bring people together. Um, with a little sales pitch at the end because sometimes people do want to purchase this is available in the main catalogue as well brilliant say I was all actually going to buy the dies um, for this thank you Jane thank you um, Karen thanks Kirsten Na thanks Natalie that's amazing thanks Elizabeth What's Elizabeth missed? We finished the card, honey. We finished the card. We were just adding some um, basic rhinestone jewels in the middle of these kind of floral prints. Um, if you had black ones, they would pop quite nice as well, or even copper coloured. Yeah, my desk is a bit of a mess as well now, Heather. Thank you so much for popping on, folks. Um, does anybody have any ideas for card a card next week? Or a particular style of card. Oh, thank you, Anne. If anybody wants to purchase a £5 um, pre-cut kit, um, minus the stamped sentiments, obviously, um, send me a little message. Um, it's only £5 included 
including post and packaging. And I will do a E4 PDF sheet with step by step correct instructions. Um, so yeah, just let me know. I've enough for about seven, three, three. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight of these. So, um, you can let me know something for Easter. Of course, in Tina card maybe. Perfect. I'll have a little look. Thank you so much. Okay, right. I'm going to um, shoot off now. Um, I hope you've had fun. I'd like to thank you all for coming on. This is the most that I've had on a Facebook Live to date. So I'm just glad that everybody's kind of coming together during this hard time. Stay safe um, and look after yourselves, okay? Um, and thanks again for tuning in. Send me a little message if you're wanting a wee kit, okay? I've already got Rachel and um, Elaine's... Um, payment for their kit so I'll start prepping that for posting out on Monday so thank you so much. Okay folks um, thanks again and I'll speak to you all soon. I just need to remove this from my holder so that I can finish the live. Okay tatty bye